Good afternoon, my name is Captain John Leask. I am captain on the James Cook Scientific Research Vessel based in Southampton. So on the 31st of uh, August uh, 2022, at approximately 1940, uh, James Cook received a, a distress message from a, a fishing boat uh, in distress which had uh, blacked out and was taken on water. The position of the fishing boat was approximately uh, 10 miles from where we were operating. Um, obviously, vessel in distress takes precedence of over anything else. So all scientific operations were suspended with immediate effect and remained so until we were finally uh, allowed to leave the area by the Coast Guards approximately 12 hours later. At the time we had a, a gravity core over the side and the decision was taken to uh, recover it and that was recovered in about 20 minutes which is for a gravity core is a, a quick recovery especially when it was at 1000 metres. We then proceeded at uh, top speed about uh, 15 knots to the site and we arrived at about 2100. During that time we carried out preparations on board, uh, prepping our rescue boat, rigging up uh, survival equipment on the deck and uh, discussing various plans. I also started um, liaison with the uh, Falmouth Coast Guard acting as on-scene commander. Uh, we arrived on scene as I said approximately about an hour and a half later, maybe about 21.30 and we found that the fishing boat that was in distress was uh, being towed by another vessel and it had no power on but it was still afloat and in good condition and with the assistance of Nathan Hubert, one of our scientists on board who spoke French we were able to establish that the fishing boat at the time wasn't in danger of uh, sinking but it required uh, a salvage pump, a diesel salvage pump which we didn't have on board Around about 2300, two other fishing boats turned up. One of them had a diesel salvage pump on board and this was transferred to the fishing boat. Uh, despite the best efforts of us giving them instructions how to start the diesel pump, uh, they were unable to uh, get the diesel pump started. Throughout that period, the uh, ship's crew remained uh, around and available to assist as required. We were also liaising with Falmouth Coast Guard throughout discussing the current situation and what the plans were for the fishing boat. Approximately 03.30, uh, the decision was taken by the fishing boat skipper that they would abandon the fishing boat at first light around about 6 o'clock in the morning. At approximately 05.50 in the morning, um, two other fishing boats turned up and the fishing boat in distress was abandoned by its crew and shortly afterwards they were picked up by one of the fishing boats that was uh, close to and they were recovered on board. The fishing boat then continued on its tow to approximately about 12 o'clock in the morning where it finally sank. We liaised closely with the, the coast guards giving them updates and uh, we also liaised closely with the guys on the fishing boat giving them moral support when we could and uh, technical support as well and all in all it was a, a very successful outcome with all parties working together to achieve the outcome that we got.